What's happening guys, Safety Liner C2 here. We're taking a look at another brochure, not necessarily school bus, but Bluebird uh, related. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it. Now this is a product I'm kind of unfamiliar with, uh, the Easy Loader CS bus, but it, it's pretty interesting and that's why I wanna show it off. So a ground transportation bus, you can really get behind. So if you take a look at the front, this whole back area is essentially a walk-in trunk, kind of like a walk-in closet uh, to where you can store stuff for uh, travel. So I assume that this would be used at like uh, uh, maybe an airport or for church uses, uh, stuff like that. So we'll take a look at the back real quick. Um, this is May, this brochure is from 1995. You can see Bluebird right there. Um, and we'll come back and take a look at the rest of this stuff after we look at the inside. So, easy to load or see us, the best way to take a load off. Uh, here's the bus itself. It looks like it is based off of a TC-1000, um, or maybe a Bluebird Q bus. Uh, that, that's really what it looks like, more of a Q bus than a than a TC-1000, but still some similarities there. Um, so right here it says, both the 27 and 30 foot versions of the Easy Loader CS include the uh, standard 5.9 liter Cummins diesel engines, uh, ranging from 190 horsepower to 230, uh, and the Allison AT545 transmission, mounted on a heavy duty chassis with over 2 million miles of actual fleet operations. So. Okay, uh, coming down over here in the stop and go ground transportation business, uh, drivers wear out fast and their vans wear out even faster, which is why Bluebird has created the Easy Loader CS bus. That is a heck of a name, Easy Loader CS. I wonder what the CS uh, stands for. Anyways, uh, this innovative vehicle features a 240 foot uh, cubic foot low floor rear luggage compartment that sits just above 20 inches above the ground. The spacious storage area can be easily accessed through the rear exterior double doors, making the loading and unloading of passenger luggage a breeze. Best of all, the low-maintenance CSFE uh, passed rigorous 350,000-mile 10-year uh, simulated life testing at the federal facility in uh, Altoona, Pennsylvania, compared to only three-year testing, uh, three-year life testing for cutaway conversions. This is a result. This result is a vehicle, the result is a vehicle, gosh, I'm reading too quick. Um, the result is a vehicle with tremendous long-term values and an affordable alternative to conversions. So, uh, you can see right there, uh, it looks like I was right with uh, mainly being kind of for airport use, that's what makes the most sense anyways. Uh, and if you're interested in looking at better pictures of this rather than actually just pausing the screen and hoping that you're going to get to see what you see, go ahead and check out my Flickr. Link is down below. Uh, you can see here are a couple different uh, body options. So let's see. What's this first one? Uh, capacity up to 33 passengers. The first one is capacity with uh, 23 passengers. Uh, this one is 19 with two possible wheelchair seating uh or seats uh here's the 30 capacity and here's the 18 with two wheelchair lifts and you can see on all of them there is that door that trunk space in the back so pretty innovative uh and not something that you really see so here's a look more at the actual trunk itself low floor luggage compartment is just 20 inches from the ground so it's fairly low it's not like you're gonna have to do any uh, heavy lifting above your head and stuff like that. But I wonder if there were like uh, shelves that came standard in here or if you were or, uh, or if you had to put those in yourself if needed. So uh, here's just a quick look at some of the specs. Uh, 5.9 diesel AT545, heavy duty chassis, um, tires, uh, capacity, uh, the weight, you know, just kind of standard stuff. Nothing too interesting, but... Um, yeah, so that's about it with this brochure. Just wanted to make this quick video, uh, show off something that you, you don't really see too much of. I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. Uh, and like I said, I didn't really know, uh, anything about this until I got this brochure. So, 
Uh, anyways, that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's a magical red button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know where they put it down in care they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up, or you're going to be locked in the trunk with the rest of the luggage. And make sure you also share this video with a friend. Show it to your mom. Show it to your dad. Show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care. Don't let anything happen to you. So yeah, guys, that is going to do it for this video, and thanks for watching.